So we get a lot of questions about malaria prophylaxis on our Kilimanjaro trip. I want to take a couple minutes just to talk about that. Really, I think you have two options. It's malarone or doxycycline. You'll want to talk to your physician or your travel clinician before you leave um, for recommendations. But for doxycycline, you need to start that about two days before you take off for your trip. So you'll arrive in Arusha and some of those lower areas are higher risk for malaria. So you would start doxycycline one to two days before your trip, continue that throughout the trip, and the downside is you would have to continue that for 28 days after you return from Tanzania. Um, and also there's some sun sensitivity with doxycycline, so beware if it's a hot sunny day and you're hiking in Kilimanjaro, there is a small percentage of people um, that will have a sun sensitivity to doxycycline. So hopefully you've had a chance to try that out at home or somewhere else before you leave for your trip. The other medication, Malarone, um, you can also start one to two days before the trip. You would continue that through your trip and then per CDC guidelines, you would take that for one week after you return um, from Tanzania. However, there's a lot of evidence that says you probably don't need to continue that for the full seven days. Um, you could take that to up to one day after your trip. And also at higher altitudes, your risk of malaria is super low. So theoretically, you could start that one to two days before your trip, take it until you get to forest camp, which is about 2,800 meters. And at that point, your risk of malaria is essentially zero. And so for the upper mountain portions until you return back to Arusha, you wouldn't need to take anything. Um, but for the safari part, again, you would restart your malarone, take it through the safari until you returned home. One to two days after you get home should be sufficient. Again, if you wanted to be extra safe, you could take that for a week upon returning from your trip. Again, we recommend talking to a travel clinician, making sure you're up to date on all your immunizations uh, for Tanzania and for other travels um, to keep you safe and also to keep those in your group safe. Uh, hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.